I remember growing up, um, we're practically not far in age. Right. And it's so funny, like I would I would write lyrics to to my little girlfriends and actually say, You're the meaning in my life. <laughs> You're the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> you bring feelings to my life. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Wow, he's so good. <laughs> Imagine in the Philippines, I was like, Dear Melissa, you're the meaning in my life. He loves me. But what was, because you and I practically grew up with Chicago. Oh, yeah, yeah. What was it like getting the call for uh, you to dude. do the gig? <laughs> I don't know. I was... That was crazy because Tris is like my idol. Tris and Bowden. Tris and Bowden. Shout out, like, Tris. Tris, like one of the best, yeah. man. One of the best and probably one of the most underrated guys, you know. But, I mean, all the songs he played on with Kenny Loggins. Yes. Oh, this is it. Yes. All that stuff. Um, and so when he called and said, hey, man. Uh, how'd you guys, uh, sorry, how'd okay. you guys um, know each other? So I met him when I was in like a sophomore in high school. MTV was going to, they broadcast a, uh, they, on MTV, this is like 1985, they said, hey, we're going to broadcast live from Laguna Beach on July 4th. And Laguna Beach is a town of like 20,000 people. And everybody's yeah. like, where? <laughs> Who's, whose house is this at? <laughs> sure enough, my girlfriend uh -huh. at the time, whatever, her best friend's dad was a clothing designer. It was at his house. And she's like, you want to come to the party? I was like, yeah. Wow. So we went there, and there's David Lee Roth and Mark Goodman, the original VJ with the curly hair yeah. and the ponytail, uh, Mr. Mister, oh. uh, Grace Jones, oh. and um, who else was there? And you were uh, a high school kid. Rick James, You were dude. a high school kid. I was a sophomore. Oh, my God. Totally out of my mind. And they just say, that's the guy, Tristan Bowden, he plays for, he plays for Kenny Loggins. I yeah. was like, oh. Nah, 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 and he nah, nah, sat nah. in with this band. Oh. And he played drums, dude, and it was literally like a l religious experience. It was like his groove was so oh, yeah. good, so solid, and so perfect, man. I just literally in that moment, I'm like, I want to do that right there. Wait. I want to be just like him. Okay, so you've been playing drums since you were little. Yep. But when you saw, when you saw Tris and Bowden, all of a sudden, definition came into... Yeah, it was like... I mean, I played drums, right. you know, and like, yeah, it was cool, yes. great, awesome. I like playing drums. But when I saw him at that moment, I was like, did you, did you Did you talk life. to him at that I did, and he was the nicest person ever. And I think literally him, he shaped the way I talk to people about music and who I am as a person, like really about music, because oh, he was so humble and so sweet. That at that party, he said, hey, man. We went outside and we sat down on the curb because the party was just, it was just a scene, man. And so we talked and talked and talked for like 20 minutes. And he told me everything. It was like, just to me, like, and he's like, hey, man, here's my number. You call me anytime. You come up to L.A., we'll get lunch, we'll hang out. I was like, okay. And sure enough, I called him and like, out, he's like, I'll be back in six months from the Kenny Loggins tour. You call me. And I did. And I went up and met him and we became friends and we had lunch and like we just started talking from there on out. You know what? I believe you. You know why? Because that's the same thing you did to me. Hmm. We just started talking. Yeah. Jonathan Jonathan got us together. Jonathan, don't ever do that again. <laughs> and you were like, yeah, get my number, man. Yeah. Why not? I, uh, dude, why not? Right? How stupid. Right? People, like, you know, I mean, if really, hmm. if, I guess if your life is that busy and you just don't want people to talk to you or anything, like... Hey, it's all good. Not for me. Now, wow. Now, you, what made you go up to him? See, because uh, I, I'll tell you why. <laughs> like, like I, can't, I can't say that on here. I know. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> no, no, no. Without Barry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got this. Okay. okay. No, no, the reason. <laughs> A lot of confidence in that moment. I got this. <laughs> The reason why I ask is because a lot of people miss opportunities because they get in the way of themselves, right? Right. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> I can't say that because that would be very bad. But in that moment, I decided to. Uh, but, you know, and I am I am a very shy person. I know it doesn't seem like as we're talking or whatever, but really I'm 
I, uh, I, when, when I'm around people like that, I rarely go introduce myself. Like, hey, man, I just want to say love your playing. And mm. no, I, I hate, I hate small talk. Uh, I, I don't like anything fake. You know, uh, and yeah. you can see I get pretty emotional when I talk just yeah. because I mean I feel of like course, hey, I of feel course. this. I this is real. So to you know, to like talk about the weather and you, what kind of guitar are you playing? Like, Man, I love your drums. Oh, is that the new Zildjian symbol? Like it's fun and I don't mind it, but for a long period of time I can't yeah. I, I, I I yeah start to there falter. Has, there has to be substance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Okay, so um, after the tour with Tris uh, after Tris did the tour with Kenny Loggins, yep. he called you, you called him. I called him. So and you really, you really made made oh a point no, to call him. I made so, dude. So back then, there's no cell phones. No, I called him. I drive from Laguna Beach all the way to L.A. off of a, a Prairie Avenue, right off the 405. Yeah, he lived right there. I get there. He's like, just call, call from a payphone across the street. Oh. I'm like, okay. Oh no, oh no. And I knocked on his door. That's what happened. I knock on his door. Nobody answers. I'm like. And I've driven like. And you were me, still a sophomore or yeah, junior? Yeah, I, I was like junior maybe okay. at this point. Like, nothing. Like nobody's home. I'm like, this is weird. So I drive across the street to the Seven Eleven. I dial. I get on the payphone. Dial. Just rings and rings. I'm like, huh? He, I just talked to him like yesterday. He said to come up like you know at 11 a.m. Hang up the phone. <sighs> I don't know what to do. And I called again one more time. Put in you know. And uh, and you remember back then if the answering machine came on, it yeah. hit recorder. You're like ah, ah. Yeah. So I had to found another quarter, put it in, and like, Tris, it's Drew. Um, I'm here. I guess uh, maybe you got busy or something. I got head down. <laughs> you know, call me sometime. <laughs> I was getting ready to leave, and I see across the street him coming out from his house, walking out, just like just waking up. Oh. And, I'm like, and he's like, hey. I'm like, hey. So we wow. went in, and he's like, hold on. Let me get dressed. We'll go get some food. And he got up, and he went and had got food with me, and we just talked and talked and talked and He's just an amazing person. Mentor, just, would you can? Oh, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, big time mentor. Just on in terms of playing, in terms of uh, attitude, in terms of everything. Yep. Is he the reason why you actually took the vocational of taking drums as yep. your? Okay, for sure, him by itself. There's no, there's no doubt in my mind. If I wouldn't have seen him in that in that moment in that backyard for real, I mean, it was like a, ah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. It was one of those moments yeah. where I was just like, that's it. They, they like and I never I never looked back. 